It's a real burden on people's uh, quality of life to sit in traffic for that long. People really depend on uh, these kinds of transit options. Some Pierce County transit riders are feeling slighted. Yet another sound transit project has been derailed. The light rail extension to Tacoma Dome has been pushed back several more years. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Wright. I'm Monique Minglovin and Kyra 7's Lauren Donovan spoke with riders and also Pierce County Council member about what they want to see happen. Some Pierce County transit riders I spoke to are feeling slighted by this setback. None of it adds up and it's been years. I mean years since they've not done anything to improve it or make it go anyplace else but eight minutes up the road. Since 2006, Maureen Parker has relied on the light rail. She says it blows her mind that after all this time and billions invested, the Tacoma route is still less than a mile and a half long. It's like it just doesn't make any sense. I just, they need to make it make sense why it's taken so long and why it hasn't been extended. Maureen quite literally rolled her eyes at the idea of developing routes to Ballard and West Seattle before improving the situation down south. We have wanted it to go further, especially down towards Ruston. Pierce County Council member Ryan Mello agrees. These projects in King County are getting more expansive and more expensive. He tells me a quarter of all Pierce County workers commute outside the area, many clogging up I-5 every day. Mello believes completing the Tacoma Dome extension would cut back on that congestion. And some riders I met agree. Traffic over here though is just, it's insane. The Tacoma Dome extension link was supposed to be completed in 2030, but now Sound Transit says it won't be done until 2035. The agency blames soil and resource issues in federal way and floodplain concerns in Fife. A lot of frustration comes in about the inequities of investment um, from the South Sound when we've been paying into the system for a long time. While Councilmember Mello has faith in Sound Transit's new CEO, he wants the agency to solve service gaps in the meantime by making the sounder more accessible, have the train run more frequently. Same goes for Sound Transit buses. I think Sound Transit needs to do better to um, better meet budget and timelines, and Sound Transit needs to do right by the South Sound. Another delay we want to keep our eyes on is the Hilltop light rail extension here in town. That has already been delayed, but it's set to be completed by the end of this year. Reporting in Tacoma, Lauren Donovan, Cairo, 7 News. And Kyra